Hello my friends, welcome to part 40 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on Ultra Hard Difficulty and check this out guys, I am now the proud owner of a Rattler. <laughs> so I just bought it, I'm not sure exactly how this weapon works and I'm, uh, let me show you, let me show you, this is Shock and this is Metal and this is freeze now these are like bullets or bolts but let me just show you real quick i hope these uh, people don't mind <laughs> oh damn i ran out of ammo and i've increased the carry capacity all the way up to 150. i don't know how this works exactly but this is also for eddie freaking munson you told me to get this and he said that it's awesome so yeah i'm really excited to try this out um okay Guys, I cannot wait to try this, so we'll give this a go. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to do the main quest. I'm just eager to get the main story kind of moving a little bit. I was going to do some more side quests. Let me just show you real quick. Um, there's still all of these to do, guys. A moment's peace, honor the fallen. I mean, we've still got quite a bit to do. However, I want to do at least one more. Uh, main quest. We're going to do the Greyfold. So I'll just read this out to you guys. Aloy delves the ruins of US Robot Command to learn more about Project Zero Dawn. If she can discover the weapons Elizabeth Sobek used to defeat the ancient robot plague, maybe she can wield them for herself. Guys, see, look, they did definitely make weapons and I, I don't know what's happened after that, obviously. We're going to find out more. But um, somehow, we managed to destroy the machines, or the plague, or whatever they call it. And um, there's still a lot of gaps. But anyway, I can't answer that, because I have no idea what to expect. So we need to go to the Grave Hordes. We're going to get 9,000 XP and a skill point. On the map, where is it? No, that's not it. God damn it, I keep forgetting to... Right, there we go. Okay, so on the map. Where's the nearest camp? It'll be here, isn't it? Okay, good. Okay, guys, I'm going to grab myself a broadhead. And, um, yeah, I'll see you there. Hey, guys. Okay, grab myself a mount. So, let's keep going. I'm just following the quest indicator. Now, where are we on the map? Okay, we've got quite a long way to go. So all of this, I guess, is uncharted territory. Have I been here before, though? Huh, I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, so let's keep going. Anyway, I hope everyone's staying well. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, my God, this is breathtaking. Sorry, this is breathtaking, guys. <laughs> this is so cool. Whoa, whoa, what's happening here? What? I think there's a battle between machines and... And who? Who's fighting? Okay, guys, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's get the hell out of here. Right. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. All right. Sorry, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Wow, that was a little bit scary. Oh my god, get out of the way, Jesus. Damn machines. Alright, this is a very snowy area. Right, stride aside. Okay, yeah, I've definitely not been here before, so... Let's pick up some more medicine, and who are you? Oh, charges, really? Oh my god, guys. Great, and I can hear a sawtooth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Guys, man, this is this is a joke. Right, uh, sorry, where does it want me to go? What, what What's going on here? Oh my God, guys, seriously. No, leave me alone. All right, I need to gather medicine uh, whenever I can. Okay, we're kind of nearly... No, we're not nearly there. Jesus, we still got a while to go. Go away, Scrapper. <laughs> Guys, this place is dangerous. Jesus. All 
It's just chock full of machines. There's a shit ton of them, guys. Oh, whoa, guys! Okay, I can't remember. I think they're called, um, Horus. Oh, what? Oh, shit! What? What the? Wait, no! Get off me! Oh, my God! Look, 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 look. Broadhead, will you? Wow. Oh, my God, guys. No, can he get off? Aloy, can he get off? Oh, my God. Unbelievable. you <laughs> this, Guys, this weapon's awesome. Really? Um, it's not really working, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's try that again. I don't know if I'm using this right. Oh, my God, guys. I'm, I'm actually going to die. Right or right. Okay, one second. Maybe this is good against machines, perhaps? I don't know, guys. Wow, that was, um, that was bullshit. I, I can't believe this just, just happens. So I got ambushed. Wow. Oh, what now? Guys, what now? Seriously? I don't believe this. This is such bullshit, honestly. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> just, just missed the eye. Actually, guys, let me try it. Sorry, give me a sec. Let me try this. Get out of the water, Aloy. Get out of the water. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, this has been a total disaster. Jesus. All right, let's try it. Okay, I don't actually have shock in here. Alright, this is definitely better against machines. Oh, what now? Oh my god, really? Okay, guys, this is not part of the plan. My god. <laughs> Alright, let me try and take over one of them. Come on, you son of a bitch. Are you serious? Is this what we're doing now? Freaking assholes. Alright, guys, anyway. Um... Listen, I tell you what, let me find a campfire. What I'm going to do, guys, is I need to farm for some medicine. And what will happen is you'll find me back here. Wait, hold on. Oh, a metal flower. <laughs> Where are we? Okay. Hey, we found a collectible, so that's good. All right, let's have a look. Um, metal flower. Okay, watching the river through a window of trees, spring rain falls okay fine it's a very short one this time all right guys i'll see you back here hey guys we are back okay um i slipped into my nora silent hunter so i'm not going to be spotted so easily guys this is insane so it's a metal devil or horus i think it's called horus anyway Okay, I don't have a mount, <laughs> unfortunately. And this is all the medicine I could get hold of. All right, I hope these guys don't see me. <laughs> we're nearly there. I don't think we're that much further away. What's this? Okay, I don't want that. Uh, going back to this Rattler thing. Guys, I need a bit more practice with it. So, whoa, who are you? Oh, it's Merchant. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> all right, nice to see you. Let's see if I can sell anything. Um, okay, I've got one of these. Get rid of that. Get rid of one of those. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Okay, let's get rid of one of those. Um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else I could sell, really. I'm just trying to clear some more space. Um, okay, we're good. I think we're fine here. I'll visit again. I'll buy a sample box. A free sample box, but I have to set it to story mode. So we're on ultra hard at the moment. Um, guys, the Rattler thing, I love it, but I don't think I'm using it properly. And also... I'm not showing any focuses at that location. Shouldn't be anything you can't handle on your own. Carry on. 
thanks. On my own, all right. All right, that was silence. Okay, I'm going to shut up, guys. Let's get this done. We'll talk later. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. Um, okay, give me a sec. Wait, hold on, guys, it's our backpack, dude. It is. I can get out of this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't breathe. He killed his friend, the dickhead. All right. Anyway. <laughs> right. Can he see me? Well, he won't be telling anyone about me. <laughs> Bitches. Okay. All right. They're all dealt with. Fantastic. Uh, by the way, let me just switch out my... What do I want instead? Okay, let's put this there anyway guys that was hilarious honestly i love playing up the backpack dudes it's so funny oh what's this all right guys this is a uh, nuts uh anyway i'm eager to explore i'm very nervous as well Guys, it's our corruptor. It is. All right, anyway, let's keep looking. Guys, this is so haunting. It's unimaginable what this war was like, you know? Anyway, let's keep going. There might be more eclipse. And look at these tanks. In the shadow of a metal devil. Great. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can see a blue light. That means it's a machine. What is it, though? Ah, crap. Okay. Oh, it's here. Right, we're here, guys. This is a grave hold. We're here. What the hell's all those blue lights? Anyway. I don't see any enemies. I think we're okay. But I can hear it. I can hear something. <laughs> Guys, I don't understand. Oh, shit. Look, there's something there. Oh, God. Shit, there's people there as well. God damn it, man. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Sorry, let me carefully look. Okay, there's a dead body there, but we'll investigate that in a minute. Guys, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Can I get out of this? Now turning back. Okay. All right, they're all on fire. <laughs> all of them are. Oh, shit, he's coming up here. God damn it. How did he even get me? Jesus. All right, good, good. The watcher's dead. Now this mofo here. Don't think he quite knows I'm here. Oh, he does. Shit. Shit. Oh, crap. Here we are. Guys, that was a blatant headshot. Bullshit. Why am I sucking? Oh, wow. <laughs> Take a look around the room. 
Yeah, guys, I was shooting terribly there. All right, anyway, let's grab that. All right, hope there's no more. So what happened here then? They're inside too. Who? What are you talking about? Oh shit! Uh, Operation Enduring Victory, guys. All right, let's have a look. Um, okay, check this out. Alright, let's keep going. Right, that's what... Okay, so all of these corruptors broke into this place. Oh my god, guys, this is blowing my mind. More corruptors. Alright, let's have a look at every single one of these recordings. Um, oh, it's not recordings. Alright, Corporal Vandana Sarai. Killed in action. All right. Uh, Fiona, Lieutenant F uh, Fiona Miro. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the lens, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Rickets are really close. Engine will be on point. Hurrah! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? Jesus. Okay, nothing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sergeant Amy's Guliev. Guliev? Say it again, Lieutenant. I got some. Titan is through the defenses. Still on approach. We've got no mobility in here. It'll punch right through us. We hold the hedge at all costs. Then push back out. Guys, that is fucking awful, man. <laughs> this is this is crazy. Jesus. Alright. Corporal Yana Mills. Oh, that's the other guy called out to Yana. Okay. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> if this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Silence, you getting this? What is it? All these soldiers. They died here. People die all the time. I'll keep going and find something interesting. <laughs> You're all hard, Silence. <laughs> wow, guys, this is this is nuts. The last stand. Anyway, at least they did kill some crafters. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, this um, Horus, the Titan, as they're referring to it, they managed to destroy it. I know they all died, but still, they bravely fought, and they've destroyed a Titan after all. So, it wasn't completely one-sided. Wait, what's this? Did I not see this? Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the lens, blast out the fountains. Oh, sorry, we have heard this. I apologize, guys. It was still glowing, so I didn't know. 
Man, this is... This is awful. It really is. All right. Uh, apologies again if I've heard this before. What's this? No, that's kill in action. Okay. All right. That's a dead eclipse. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? Whatever it was, it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. All right, good. We're getting some medicine. I don't want to leave any recordings not listened to. But we've already heard this. That keeps flagging up. I just want to do one more quick sweep here, guys. Don't want to miss anything. All right. Don't think there's anything here. Yeah, I already heard that. Okay. Let's have a look around here. What's up? Oh, what's this? Oof, dead soldiers. All right. A stranded necklace. What the heck is that? Anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm. All right, we've already heard that one. Okay, guys, nothing else here. So I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. I just don't want to miss anything, you know? Okay, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's down here? Oh, am I going to die if I drop down? One sec. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know. Should I, should I go here? No, don't die, please, Aloy. Oh, thank God. Thank God it was just water. But is there any purpose to this? Is there any loot? What's this? Nothing. Oh, hold on. There's a supply crate, but anything up here? What's that? Right, we need to go there. Okay. All right, let's... um Climb up. All right, where is this supply crate? All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was a bit scared I couldn't get back out of it. Okay, let's go. All right, as with the pre... Like the lodge in mother's heart, I guess. Okay, before she starts talking again, um, as a previous episode, guys, I'm going to investigate absolutely everything here because I just want to know more, you know? And as usual, if there's anything I'm reading and it's really long, I'll leave in a timestamp so you can skip ahead. Right, Corporal Acosta. Log. Third Battle of California Marine. The swarm came in from the Pacific, and I don't know if it was the local Minutemen or the crazy 15th, but they'd set the garbage patch alight. Man, the sea was on fire. That stuff was pain. The first wave of bots came in covered in burning sludge. They bought us an hour or two of slaughtering them on the beaches before the swarm recalculated. We pulled them inland, back to the Kalmar sprawl. Dropped buildings on them, EMP'd the grid. Standard operating procedure. <sighs> the last time I was in California, I was... Five, six? The light was like that vintage social net filter that was everywhere in the 40s. Guys, oh, you know, from what I'm hearing... Humanity fought back, and they were doing quite well, you know? Hmm. They gave as good as they got. Anyway, let's see this one. Right, again, Corporal Acosta. Log. First battle of the Eastern Seaboard Wall. Had a long run up to it. This was before Kalmar. 
and projections were a lot worse for the East. For three weeks, we kept getting scrambled out to some coastal burg to train Minutemen. It was always raining on account of Europe already being torched. Block after block of prefab barracks. They were still printing barracks right up until the hour the main force hit. The Minutemen? We ran combat drills with them in the streets where they'd lived, trying to pretend they might live to die somewhere else if they paid attention. Nothing worse than the ones who actually bought into it. Hopeful, pestering us with questions about Zero Dawn, like we know something they don't. I swear. The more we do this, the more like the bots we are. Except they learn from every fight. And us? I'm not so sure. So wait, they didn't know what Zero Dawn is or was either. Is Did I get that, guys, or am I mis misunderstanding? Anyway, let's keep going. Guys, this is crazy, man. I'm loving this, honestly. Okay. Alright, what is this? Okay, reminder again. Recalls, I've been instructed to remind you of Article 115 of base policy regarding unauthorized use of processor cycles. Specifically, 115C. Any holographic simulation not directly related to operational training or efficiency. Consider yourself reminded and enjoy your gaming. I will. I will enjoy gaming. I'm currently playing Horizon Zero Dawn. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's keep looking around. Okay, again, it's telling me to go there, but we're going to go here instead. So this is a... Another room. No, it's not a bedroom. Anyway. Just a little longer. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast on active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. I don't know, 20 drops. In and out of the West Coast, fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals. Their training is basically, here's a DEW, when you see a bot, hit it. <laughs> but somehow it's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse at Lithium Beach. Pulled out before its buddies arrived, but to see a big one go down. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're gonna have a shot at turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs, that everything will be the way it used to be. Gosh, guys. Can you imagine how ter- oh, there's more, there's more. Can you imagine how terrified these people were? Anyway. So sorry. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployment, sir. Uh getting real long and tougher every time. The swarm is getting better at predicting us. Less of us now. And we have to put in ten times the work for everyone gone. Like a family business on hard times, only... This isn't my family. It's not with you. I still try to see you. The life we had in the eyes of the people out there. I remember when they were glad to see us. When they still had hope. It all seems to be slipping away. I don't even recognize the places we're defending. The only thing I know I'm still fighting for is... You. Is there a dawn to turn this around? Whatever the hell that is. They didn't know, guys. That's insane. So the soldiers did not know what Zero Dawn was either. And that was sad listening to all that, guys, honestly. My goodness. All right. We came from here, right? So... All right, let's keep going. It's this way. The furnishings were metal. How'd they ever get comfortable? It was the metal world. I guess they were used to it. Okay. Sorry, what's it telling me to do? Anyway, before I go down there, what's here? All 
All right, check it out. Press. Okay, Corporal Sarai. Okay, looking back, I thought 64 was shaping up to be a pretty good year. No more drinking and no more mercenary sack work. Stripping offshore wind farms for the OEZ. Just me and a plasma cutter, 400 feet above sea level. Then I got the recall alert. Re read up on, sorry, read them up on a turbine in the smell of uh, cooking ozone. They covered every angle. Better pay. Amnesty for any combine wars you'd fought in. Guaranteed citizenship. We should have thought, okay, what's the catch? But what we did think was, I guess we're better than the bots after all. Big talk from Heres about pride and duty. Smart guy. He was right. I'd been proud to be a US soldier. I jumped at the chance to be one again. And look what I landed in. Oh dear. Oh dear. What's this? Oh, it's a shower. I think it's a shower. It is a shower. Look, check it out. <laughs> Just one bed. Maybe their war chief's room. What bed? What are you talking about? All right, Aloy. <laughs> Whatever. Right, what's this? Okay, another one from Corporal Sorai. Last night, we got talking about D-Day D -Day 55. I was a kid then, only a few years out of boot camp. General assembly in a drone hangar. Summer and the sky was bare. The heat was killer. They say US human combat forces are being disbanded. All automated now. We're last cycle's tech, out like the old net. A million more on basic in a century recession. Could be you'll help build the robots that took your jobs. Or, if you know how to handle a power suit, you can find a place that still uses manual labour. Maybe in the OZ, OEZ or China, where you're not our problem. Low suicide risk, it's said in my discharge file. Okay. Alright, anything else? Alright, no. Okay, just making sure I haven't missed anything, guys. Sorry, did I come from here? I did. I came from this way. All right, guys, let's um, let's go down. <laughs> oh, God. I hope this is a thing. It is a thing. Guys, so they really didn't know what Zero Dawn was. So. <sighs> I'm confused, guys. I'm really confused. All right, what's this? Red light. Guess that means no power. All right, sorry. Ada was saying something about wire, but all right, never mind. All right, let's keep going. Right, restore power to the ancient door. What the hell? What is this? Oh, I remember this from <laughs> episode one or part one, guys. The very start of the playthrough. Okay, so how do I get there? All right, let's go. All right. I seen one of these since I was a little kid. <laughs> exactly. Some kind of code. Maybe I should try scanning objects in this area. I was about to say, I need clues. I mean, all right, wait one sec. Useful information. Oh, check it out. I get it. Okay, so we need one that goes down. Okay, down, left and right. Okay. Three power lines. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right. It looks like there's more. So there should be. Right. Check it out. And where's the other one? Oh, I don't know, guys. Shall I jump 
down there? Don't die, please, Aloy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now what? Okay, so let's do this one first. All right, what's this? Okay, error detected. Consult GT Tech. Okay. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry free from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? As usual, I defy expectations. <laughs> Alright, I need to hear that again. Sorry, guys. Hey, y'all wanted to know how I remember the geotherm system reboot? Goes like this. Bird flies north in summer, okay, north. east in spring, west in fall, and south in winter. Didn't expect to hear nature poetry from the lips of Mike the GT Tech now, did you? Okay. As usual, I defy expectations. Left. Right. <laughs> and I think south. I think. That's two. <laughs> yes. Thanks, G Tech. <laughs> I think his name's Mike, isn't it? So thank you, Mike. All right, so. Oh, oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, no, I died. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so what's this one? Is there another? Okay, this one's straightforward. So up, up. All right, up, up, down, down. That was actually very easy. And it's a lot of fun as well. <laughs> okay, here we go. Excellent. Okay, is... Alright, apart from me dying, is there anything else? Is there a safe way to go down? Is there any loot down here? No. Alright, cool. Alright, guys. Okay, let's keep going upwards then. Hey! Oh, maybe from the other side, perhaps? All right, guys, let's move. Tools being used in places. No clips. Must be the way. Shit. Guys, can you keep it down? It's really loud. <laughs> All right, what's this? Okay, good. Supplies, what's that? A power cell, yes. Oh, and guys, sorry. Thank you. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, thank you for the comments um, regarding the power cells. I think this is my fourth one now. Fourth power cell. And you guys told me there's five. So I've just got one more to go. Oh, crap. <laughs> Jesus. There's a shit ton of them, guys. Oh, my God. It is a, a, a freaking boss guy as well. All right. Okay, we got to be a bit patient with this. I don't want to just go in guns blazing. Oh my god, another skull, dude. What the hell, guys? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm worried. I'm very, very worried. Oh, guys, you're kidding me. We've got corrupted scrappers as well. All right, look. <clears throat> All right, let's just take this slow. They're not looking for answers, just weapons. Why are they here, though? They're probably trying to get more Deathbringers and Corruptors, probably. But, um... <sighs> okay, there's another guy there. Let me... Guys, I've got an idea, but I don't know if it's... Wait, hold on, hold on. I can't see him, damn it. Shit, no, I can't. I was going to take a shot, but there's a dude there as well. He's going to see the body. He's going to spaz out, and then all his bodies will come and converge on my position. So... Guys, there's a backpack dude there. You 
you know what? I wonder. Alright, the reason I'm putting Blast Wires here, I'm going to start taking a few of them out. Now, obviously, they're going to freak out and they're probably going to come up here. Shit. Shit. They're probably going to come up here, so I've got a nice surprise waiting for them, if they do. Out already? Um, Aloy, do you want to keep your voice down, please? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Right, where's our scrapper? Right, he's not going to come down here. Good. So, what we'll do is... Oh shit, that dude! Oh no, I messed up. All right, guys, guys, guys. So let's let's start. Um, let's start causing trouble. I'm gonna kill that dude. When that guy goes down, I'm gonna kill him. All right, hold on, hold on. Good. Okay, cool. Now, there's a dude in here. How will he leave? Right, he's probably going to leave out of that door, so... No, not a shock arrow! Shit! Oh, man! Alright, one more. Let me do one more here. No, not there! What are you doing, man? Shit. Ah, crap, guys. I don't think this is going to work. Anyway, all right, that's enough now. So, where's the other dude that had a backpack? Where's he gone? Right, there he is. He's over there. I'm going to wait for him to join his friends there. And we're going to shoot a flaming arrow. They're talking to each other. Right, let's get out of here. Um, Aloy, can he move? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Wait. Ah, he moved, piece of shit. Got him. <laughs> yes! Okay. Are they gonna come up the stairs? <laughs> Guys. Alright, let's wait here. Let's wait here. He died. Guys. Guys, am I a genius or am I a genius? Alright, wait, wait, wait. Is there any stragglers? Any strays? Guys, we took them all out. We did it. They're all dead. We did it. Alright, check it out. Uh, whoa, what's this? What is this? Oh, holy shit, this looks amazing. Oh, man, I didn't get to use it. Oh, guys, that sucks. I didn't get to use this. How many bullets? 48 bullets. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. Right, let's grab all of that. Okay, guys, I'll tell you what. Let me loot up everything, and I'll skip ahead. Hey, guys. Okay, I looted up all their bodies, and um, there's a supply crate here. Oh, here we are. Okay, excellent. Okay, tons of resources. So have a look at this. All these tanks here and everything. Gosh, it's so disturbing. Anyway, so it wants me to go up there. Is there anything down below, though? Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know. Is this a good idea? Damn. Boats are full of water. 
Sorry, Aloy. Okay, let's go back. I don't think there's anything here. All right. Okay, here we go. And then what? Okay. What? Oh wait, I think that I think that's a ledge. Am I missing something? Oh, thank God. <laughs> All right, cool. Here we go. Sorry, I'm just scanning for any enemies. All right, there's something in there, but what's this? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, let's start here, I guess. Edited and approved. Okay. Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months for the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees, scrappy guys and gals, that's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. Okay, I get it. Edited approved for release. Guys, this is slightly different to the one we heard downstairs. Or is it the same? I don't know, but anyway, what's this? I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put into work for everyone. Like a family business. I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. Yeah, that's definitely different, guys. Why would they do... Oh, I get it. Okay. All right. Basically, they're trying to give people hope. Um... Oof. <laughs> this is so disturbing. Anyway. Right. Unit status reports. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade. Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morrell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Wow, guys. So this one was rejected for delivery. They didn't want this out in the public. But we won. We must. We we did win, right? I'm actually really rooting for these. Well, I mean, look, we survived. And when I say we, I'm talking about humanity in the future. So what could have? Oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. But it's it's killing me not knowing. Please reply. Rejected for delivery again. Jesus. Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. 
I was just about to say that. That is sad, guys. So they didn't want this out there. Oh, God. I, I, you know what? This is horrible. All right, what's this? Approved for delivery. I believe in you. Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andrus and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Wow, guys. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. This episode, I try to be as jovial as I can. That's why I love killing these backpack guys. It cheers me up. It really does. But this episode has been so disturbing, man. It's so sad. But, but Project Zero Dawn did work. It did. Right? <laughs> anyway. Right, what's this? Use the console. Um, sorry, guys, give me a sec. Did I miss anything here? Okay, there's our big room. That's where we came from. All right, cool. Just checking. Just double checking. All right, here we go. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. Look, we'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world, eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? Jesus. Gosh. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. All right. What's this? Oh, this is where we came from, guys. And sorry, just one quick observation. I didn't even um, notice this. So that Horus thing, it did breach one of its tentacles in here, so... But it died, so we managed to stop it. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at this. Right, USRC deployment records. So I guess this stands for United States Robot Command. December 2065, week one, confidential. Operation Kickback. Reno, Re Reno, Nevada. Civilian Guard and Armour Battalion skirmish with Vanguard elements of Pacific Northwest Swarm PN-12. Engagement began at 0600 and concluded with withdrawal at 2100 the following day. Losses in excess of 40% reported. Jesus. Operation Thick Skull. Okay, Shenandoah. <laughs> Sorry if I'm butchering these names, guys. Shenandoah Valley, SA Tech, Virginia. 12th MRB supported by Civilian Guard fought a rear guard action against Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-17. So what? There, there's different swarms. I thought it was called a Heart Timor Swarm. But anyway, anyway. Engagement began at 0800. At approximately 1400, 12th MRB reported a position was overrun and received authorization to detonate SA Tech Facility inflicting significant damage on ES-17. Surviving elements of 12th R MRB withdrawn to Akron Cleveland defensive line. Right, Operation Body Blow. Akron, Ohio, 9th and 10th MRBs, supported by sustained aerial strikes, assaulted the Horus class Titan, uh, resupplying the Eastern Seaboard Swarm ES-18. Engagement began at 0400 and concluded at 
2200. That went on for a whole day, Jesus, with the elimination of the Titan. Note that this is 9th MRB's third Titan kill with minimal losses. Brigade readiness status. 3rd MRB, refused recall orders from Operation Pinch Hit, deployment um, along Pensacola, Tallahassee, defensive line, court martial proceedings underway. 7th MRB, recalled from New York engagement zone to reinforce Wichita Theater, ready. 9th MRB, refitting at USRC facilities, ready. 10th MRB, transferred from Kalmar, Data corrupted. Damn it. Oof. This is a heavy episode, guys. Honestly. Anyway. All right. It wants me to go there. Is there any other rooms? Anything else? Any more recordings? All right. Come on. Come on, game. Give me something. All right, we came out of here. This hollow projector thing. Okay, cool. All right, guys, let's keep going. Okay, that's shots. Oh, nothing here, really. That sucks. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on, seriously. No, there's nothing here. Damn it, man. All right, let's see what this is. God. The eclipse. Tampering with a metal devil. But they don't think they can wake it, do they? Watch out! Oh no! Oh shit, guys. Another collision. Oh god. <laughs> oh great. Okay, now this one can move. Fantastic. That that's wonderful, guys. Oh what how what how do I do this? God damn it. Alright, alright. I've got my stealth thing on. Outfit, I mean. Alright, here's what we do, guys. We must eliminate as many of the eclipse as possible. Before I... Alright, check it out. Okay. Away. Why is he red? Why is he red? I can't see you. Are you sure, Aloy? Oh, crap! Oh, crap, guys! Alright, let's just... Let's just jump down. Screw it. <laughs> oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Alright, this is shit, this is shit, this is shit. Guys, I don't even know what to do here. Seriously, Aloy. Please blow up. 
good. Okay, that cheered me up a little bit. Oh, shit. Guys, I don't even know how to fight this damn thing. <sighs> All right. Anyway. Whoa, that did a ton of damage. Okay. I can't see it. Damn it. Oh my god, guys, we're, we're going to be trapped here. I need to move. All right, give me a second. Guys, that made me shit my pants. <laughs> I don't even know what to do here, seriously. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's pause for a minute. Give me a second. Outfits. Um, I'm going to wear this. No, hold on, hold on one sec. One second. The only reason I put this on... No, let's put this. I'm going to wear this for the fire protection because the Eclipse seemed to be shooting fire at me. Let me do that. All right, guys. Oh, my lord. It's actually coming closer. I don't even know what to do here. Oh, thanks. That That's great. Thanks a lot. No. <sighs> I need to destroy that gun, guys. Wait, let's keep shooting fire at it. One sec. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, shit! Really, Aloy? Oh, my God. Seriously, man. Okay, don't know what that means, but whatever. Shit, guys. This isn't good. Run, run. I need to get out of it. Jesus. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, you can stop now. You can stop now, dude. Oh, for Christ's sakes, guys. Okay, let's do the fire thing again. I think that's actually working quite well. Okay, one second, one second. did a ton of damage. Okay, let's keep aiming at that middle thing there. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Okay. Move, Halo. Jeez. Jesus. Guys, sorry I'm really quiet. I'm just um I'm just in panic mode. Wait. Oh damn. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. What's that orange thing there? Well that did a bit of damage. Okay, nice. Oh crap. <laughs> move, move. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Move, move, move. My lord. Okay. Okay, this thing is really angry at me, guys. Damn. Fuck. Oh, 
Okay, guys, my cover's blown. We need to move. One more. Oh, he's dead! <laughs> yes! Yes! They had to fight hundreds of those all at once. Fuck, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was totally silent for that. I'm so sorry there was no commentary. I was scared shitless. Did you see the amount of damage this bastard machine was doing to me? Fucking robot. God damn it. That was, that was frightening. Okay, it's all right. We made it through. Somehow we made it. And I'm sorry to say, but these mods did nothing to help me. I mean, you saw how much damage I was taking there. Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, so that's my first Deathbringer in the bag. And that was not easy at all. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do a circuit around the room. Um, meaning I'm just going to collect up all the loot from Eclipse, etc. And then we'll go into that place there. After I've looted a Deathbringer. See you in a bit. Hey guys. Okay. Managed to loot up some medicine as well. So I gathered some medicinal plants or mushrooms or whatever they are. Let's loot up the Deathbringer. Oh, look at that. Wait, 20% resist ranged attacks. That's sick. That would have held me in this fight, definitely. Anyway, let's grab all of that. Bad. God, this thing is a fucker, man. Honestly, it's so tough. Jesus. All right, guys. Um, okay, I've looted everything. So all we need to do now, I guess, is to go through here. All right, let's find out what's beyond this room. Search the wall room. Okay, check it out. All right, guys. Okay. Um, don't want to miss anything, so I hope there's no secrets here. Right, again, we need to go through here. However, before we do that... Right, check it out. Okay, what's this? What? Biosphere degradation? What the hell, guys? All right, report uh, biosphere degradation, um, August 2065, confidential. Chief findings. Despite increased tactical proficiency of elite and civilian guards units and many hard-won engagements in the Central European and Arctic, Antarctic sorry, and Pacific Reach theatres, the Pharaoh Plague's rate of advance has not slowed, nor has its biomass consumption rate. Okay, fine. Uh, Alright, anyway. Damage to the biosphere has already exceeded 2038 levels by every measure and grows worse by the day. Extinction timeline projections remain unchanged, with OAC predicted for mid-November 2065. What does OAC mean? Anyway, um, annihilation of exposed human populations in February 2066. Oh shit, guys. Extinction of macro macrobiotic land organ organisms by the end of March 2066. An extinction of marine life in early 2068. Guys, not even microbial life was safe. So the machines were eating everything. Literally. Continued secrecy re project zero dawn the utter silence regarding its mechanisms of action and completion rate make it impossible to predict zero dawn's impact or lack of impact on the extinction timeline oh my god atmospheric collapse atmospheric oxygen depletion and toxic emissions 
remain the greatest environmental threat to Operation Enduring Victory as well as the wider civilian population and animal life. Operational Atmospheric Collapse, OAC, so that's what it means, okay, is currently predicted for mid-November 2065. Jesus. After which, military personnel will require rebreathing apparatus to operate in the open, and civilians will only be able to survive inside sealed structures. My God. The requirements for air scrubbing and recycling in facilities is addressed in Addendum A, linked to this report. Okay, po potable water shortages. Okay, major water treatment facilities are already struggling to process water sources, compromised by rainfall heavily contaminated by toxins emitted by the consumption of the Eastern Hemisphere. Following the necessary shutdown of all nano scrubbing functionality, wastewater recycling is already beyond capacity. Military response escalation. Addenda linked to this document cover the short term effects of scorched earth engagements in defense of the western seaboard and the ongoing effects of the oceanic economic zones use of nuclear weapons to delay the enemy's initial advance across the Pacific theater. Data corrupted. Guys, this is this is shocking, man. So the robots could really consume literally every molecule. So how do we oh I'm confused. I'm even more confused now. But we stopped it, right? Sorry guys. <laughs> Sorry, my mind is just racing. Look, um the reason I'm pausing it from what I was reading there. What the person was saying is, although all of these things are happening, this Project Zero Dawn thing, when it is finished, how is it going to reverse everything? If that makes sense, guys. I mean, that's what I was getting from that data point. Um. Anyway. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to stop thinking. I'll just shut my brain off for a bit. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. No, there's nothing else here. Okay, it's fine. Oh, boy, this is disturbing, guys. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we're here. Let's do it. This is the war room, guys. Okay, let's do it. Oh, she's... Sorry, the jump scared me. Thank you, Dr. Selbeck. You can take a seat. What? You're going to sack her after what she just said? Dr. Selbeck has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting for you this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. What is it, though? So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? 
I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? Guys, this is crazy, man. Are we still didn't find out what freaking Zero Dawn is? I thought we were going to find out in this episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Can't carry more. Ah, shit. That's ah, fine. It's okay. All right, whoa, what's this? Oh, check it out. All right, secure calm EVZD X or oh, whatever, whatever. So back. As projected, the Wichita salient has collapsed. Five Horus class titans have broken through. We predict contact in 34 hours. Everything is in position, General. It took a few shortcuts to pull everything together, but Zero Dawn is functionally complete. Good to go. That enduring victory served its purpose after all. Yes, if we'd had even one day less. I've sent you an encoded file, Doctor. Please, do me the favor of archiving it. I'll... I'll see what I can do. What is it? A brief statement. An allocution of crimes, I guess you'd call it. To what are you admitting guilt? Over the past 16 months, Doctor, I have presided over the greatest wholesale slaughter of military personnel and civilians in the history of... history. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Sorabella, add them all together. They don't even come close. You didn't do the killing, General. No, not directly. But I didn't wind up the highest ranked military commander in the United States by resisting the automation of the armed forces. Even before the swarm, Doctor, I was helping death along. So, instead of letting what I've done sink into the murk, forgotten. I set a file with all the details. Let posterity judge my actions with clear vision. I'll do as you ask, General. But you should consider that were it not for your actions, our actions, there wouldn't be any posterity to judge us. Perhaps. Not just so bad. At ease, General. And goodbye. Hell of a thing. Wow, guys, this episode has been nuts. Oh, shit. Oh, no, where am I? Oh, God. Sorry, guys. One second. <laughs> Get out of there. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't, I didn't know that was there. Um. All right. Anyway, just in case, just before I leave. All right. No, there's nothing else. All right. Let's go. Whoa, this episode. Whoa. I don't even know what where to start with this. Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Carja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. What was Zero 
gone, what sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew. Her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. Wow, guys. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's all I can say. I have no words. This has been nuts. It really has. It was really sad, though. I have to admit, this episode was probably the saddest one so far. Apart from when Ross died. From melted snow. Uh, wait, how do I get out of here? I don't understand. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, one sec. Wait, hold on. Can I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Check this out. No, it's not working. <sighs> oh, crap. Get down from here. Oh, this should be quite the ride. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. Oh gosh, that was so sick. I'd do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there. <laughs> uh yeah, I, I actually agree. <laughs> guys, this this episode's just been crazy, honestly. You know what? Unfortunately, doing these sort of episodes, I want to continue doing the main story. Because it's so freaking interesting, you know? Um, why am I here? Um what is this? this What's that? The was talking about. The territory just above. What? Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Oh, you're shaking me. Guys, this is the DLC. <laughs> Listen, um, guys, let me know when you think I'll be ready to do this. Because I've been made aware I'm supposed to do this, um... Like, not not after the ending of the story. I can do this actually much earlier. So let me know when you think I'm ready. I'd like to give it a try, to be honest with you. But anyway, I'll be patient. Yeah, what I was trying to say was, guys, doing these sort of episodes where the main story is so gripping, the next episode I would like to do the main story as well. But there's so much else to do, you know? Um. Anyway, my mind is totally blown. I... I don't even know what to say to articulate how I'm feeling right now, but this is... Zero Dawn worked, but we just don't know what Zero Dawn is. Even the soldiers didn't know, except for this um, general. He knew about it and those, I don't know what they're called, Joint Chiefs? Is that right? Anyway, I'm confused AF, guys, but um, whatever happened, life continued on. Humanity was saved. All the robots were destroyed. The only reason Corruptors and Deathbringers are coming up now is because of those fucking Eclipse. <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Um, this has blown my mind, but it was a little bit sad in places. I'm not going to lie to you, especially the recordings from, you know, the soldiers that died. That was pretty sad and haunting. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.